Hi, I'm Brian Way. I'm going to show you an extremely lean and efficient woodworking box truck that I have set up just for myself and my work crew. Um, I'll start over here. I try to utilize every bit of space. This is a 8 foot rail. Slides out for the, uh, it's the Festool rail. I have a 4 foot rail up here. Um, that's a laser jam and third hand contractor pack. My chop saw stand goes in the bottom left there. The DeWalt table saw on a, on a Bosch rack right there. Um, walking up here I have a, an entire workbench full of my Fest tools. These are all held in by pulling out these aluminum rails. Now you're able to access it. That way they don't slide out while you are driving. Um, above the bench I have a combination clamp rack and shelf. The shelf holds all my miscellaneous strips of wood. Under that is the cords and airlines. Miscellaneous uh, things hanging there. Toolbox for all the small tools. Keep my uh, saw horses and uh, rolling cart back here. A couple heavy duty shelves that contain all the different varieties of box tools. Microwave and coffee maker, of course, necessary in every truck. I have uh, area for masking tapes, glues, adhesives and cleaners and whatnot. Keep all my routers in place here. They each have their individual spot. A hole is drilled in the bottom to contain the, the bit. These are, uh, these are metal mesh with a quarter inch uh, iron strapping that hold them in. I used to use plexiglass but it would get too scratched up so I decided to go to the metal mesh. Could still see through it and it contains it very easily. Tape measure storage, I use file, fo file holders, uh, use that for caulk. Again, just dividing up all the different cleaners and miscellaneous things. I usually have a fast cap saw hood up here, but that's uh, set up on a job with the chop saw. So I have portable uh, portable air system over here, that's a CO2 uh, portable air nailing system built-in edge sander, router table, the Festool vacuum system which is uh, also connected in, in with the chop saw right now, delta planer, tool bag, shim, shim, shim spot. All my drawer, the drawers that are in here are built in, have this little push tab which jams a metal piece up into the bottom to keep them from opening and closing. Festool joiner, planer, and uh, drill press. Dull blades go there, ready for uh, ready for sharpening. I keep the sharp ones down there. A couple cool features about this truck is I have 110 volts. As you can see, there's outlets all over the place. Right now it's running off of the inverter. I have a 5,000 watt voltage inverter. When you plug the truck in, the relays automatically disconnect the inverter, shut it off, and uh, power up the truck with 110 volts. I have an onboard compressor that's run running off of the voltage inverter right now. I have two fittings inside the truck, two outside the truck. One down there, one on this workbench. And I also have a third down on the corner here. Um, the the music you hear is actually uh, two 6x9 speakers is connected to the factory or to the uh, stereo system I have inside the cab, which inside the cab I have a mobile office with uh, a whiteboard and a uh, GPS system. I have a backup camera, storage uh, for all files and miscellaneous items inside the vehicle as well. I have an automatic, this is a diesel truck, I have an automatic starter system, windows up, back door is alarmed with a magnetic switch, the lights on the front dash tell me when the door is open, I have a power locking system, when the truck is locked, when the front cab locks, the back door locks, that latches through the tab up there. On the side of the vehicle, is where the compressor is stored. 
and I have a coil hose and a coil cord that is powered up either by the inverter or when the vehicle is plugged in. If you're backed up to a loading dock and you can't access the side of the vehicle to plug the vehicle in, I have an inlet right there. Just plug the vehicle in and it's all powered up ready to go at a loading dock for commercial use. And on this side I have the 5000 watt voltage inverter and that cord you see right there, comes. that's a 30 foot cord that comes out and you can plug the vehicle in right there. The relay system is also kept in that side mount box which controls all the accessories on the truck. And I hope you like it. That's, uh, that's about it for now.